everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Minecraft Java Edition. We're going to go over every single step of downloading Java Edition, buying Java Edition if you've not purchased it before. But if you have, don't worry, I'm going to do a little quick jump at the beginning to show you if you've purchased Java Edition, how to download it without having to go through the purchase process. But for most people watching this video, I'm guessing you haven't bought Minecraft yet, so we're going to go through the purchase process here. Get Minecraft bot as well. Set me up yet another alt account. I think that's like seven at this point. But anyway, that is a okay. It's worth it for all of you. First of all, though, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually own to Apex so much that we have our own server. Play it breakdowncraft.com on them. And if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. Again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, though, you're not here to get an Apex server. You're here to purchase Minecraft. Minecraft or download it depending on what you're going to do. So let's go ahead and transition over here and we are on the Minecraft homepage. However, if you're the person who has already purchased Minecraft in the past, there's two links in the description down below after Apex. The first one is purchase Minecraft. If you've never bought Minecraft before, that's the one you're going to click. If you have bought Minecraft Java Edition before though, you want to click on the second one, which is actually download Minecraft. When you click that link, it's going to take you to this text tutorial that will show you how to download and install Minecraft on PC. The most important thing though is just clicking this download button here and then you can download for Windows Minecraft there from there you should be able to install it and get it all set up if you do have any issues that link in the description will show you to uh, will basically be able to help you out and get through the process but if you haven't purchased Minecraft yet which is, I'm guessing is going to be most of you you're gonna go to the second link down below which is going to be the purchase Minecraft link and once you're here you want to go ahead and click on the get Minecraft button that's then gonna take us off to where we can select what we want to play on obviously we want Java edition so Java editions only on computer and then from there we want to select Minecraft Java edition says so the original version of Minecraft and because of that it is the one that's easiest to mod and do all of that stuff so that's what we want to select here is it going to take us off to where we can buy Minecraft Java edition current price is twenty six ninety five. I don't think that's changed in a while and I don't necessarily see that it would but it couldn't if it does well then that is what it is but nevertheless let's go ahead and once we're here click on the buy Minecraft button that will then take us off to where we actually need to either log into or create a Microsoft account. Now, I know for some of you, they might be like, what? You need a Microsoft account? And yes, you do. You do need a Microsoft account because Minecraft is owned by Microsoft. And now, as of 2020, you need a Microsoft account to be able to, you know, purchase Minecraft. So once we're here, we want to go ahead and either create one or log in. For me, that's going to be creating one. I then want to enter in my email. So there we go. We've entered our email. We can go ahead and click next here. And now we want to enter in, obviously, the password for our new Microsoft account account that will host this Minecraft account. So let's go ahead and paste that in there. Click next and then I believe, yes, you have to enter your birthday and all that stuff. It's uh, basically, they say that we need a little bit more information, like your birthday helps you do age appropriate things. For example, Minecraft I think is like 13 plus though. You should be fine, but if you aren't at the age of 13, you know, which I don't think most of you would be, you would need a parent or guardian to do this, obviously. Now let's just go ahead and enter in a birthday. After you've entered in your birthday, you will then need to verify your email address. Now unfortunately, this email is currently that, that I'm using here is not accessible from, oh yes it is, it is accessible from my PC. So let's go ahead and get that email up really, really fast. Here's the email you will get. It simply says verify your email address and there it is. As you can see, it just got the verification there. Move it back and paste in the code right there. Click next, whether or not you would like those tips from Microsoft. I should have unclicked that truthfully, but oh well. And as you can see, we have now created this account. However, we do need to solve a puzzle, it seems. We have to make the chair the right way. Kind of an interesting thing there. Done and it only took us 2.9 seconds. <laughs> we aren't robots, people. We aren't robots. So now finally, it should, I think, take us off to the Mojang account. Yes, it is taking us off. We do need to, though, create an Xbox Live Gamer tag. Unfortunate. This is what it is. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I always like to cool f look for, for cool gamer tags that I don't have yet uh, when I'm doing this because uh, might as well. There we go. So there we go, that is a uh, pretty unique gamer tag. That, by the way, will never be used. After that, we can click Let's Go, and I think... Finally, it lets us purchase Minecraft Java Edition. There we go. Quite the sign-up process. It's a little easier if you already have a Microsoft account, by the way. You don't have to go through all that, but for those of you who don't have a Microsoft account, that's kind of the process. Hopefully, we were able to cut that up a little bit and make it relatively fast. But nevertheless, here we are. We want to go ahead and enter in all this information and purchase Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead and obviously do all that off screen. And then we will jump back into the basically order confirmation page. So once you have purchased Minecraft Java Edition, finally, we can set up your Minecraft profile. This is where you are going to choose your username. I have one already in mind, which actually my primary gamer tag and let's go ahead and select that's me after you've entered in your minecraft account and it says oops we could not fetch try again 
later. That's weird. Um, let's go ahead and maybe refresh the page and, and see what happens. Okay, there we go. You're all set. Hey, daily videos. It's time to dive in. If you get that, I just I just literally refresh the page and that's what it said. Now we can go ahead and download the launcher. I uh, had an oversight and forgot to delete the launcher before this, so one quick second. There we go. Now we can go ahead and click download launcher here. When you do that, it's going to download the Minecraft launcher in the bottom left. It might be in the center of your screen on Google Chrome. I doubt you need to keep it. It's pretty trusted at this point, but for me, it's right here on my desktop for you. It may be in your downloads folder. You can also, by the way, just click on it down here in Google Chrome. Uh, any of these ways work, but I'm going to go ahead, double click on it from my desktop. It's going to open up the installer here, which is not changed in a very, very long time. But nevertheless, if we click on next, click on next again, click on install. It's going to go through and basically install everything with the Minecraft launcher and everything that's associated with the Minecraft launcher. It's going to allow you to start up Minecraft very, very quick there. As you can see, start the Minecraft launcher after closing it. Yep, there we go. Boom. It's not going to update the Minecraft launcher, do everything it needs to do there. And then finally, open up the Minecraft launcher where you will need to log in. Well, you will. I probably will already have my accounts logged in because that is something I did forget to delete. But yes, I'm already logged in. So for most of you, you won't land on this page. You'll land on a page that looks like this one where you will be able to log in with Microsoft. So you're going to click Microsoft login, and then you're going to, well, log into your Microsoft account here. So let me go ahead and do that. It's going to be exactly as you would expect, right? So go ahead, enter in that there, click on next, and then enter in your password. There we go, and sign right on in, and it's going to sign you into Minecraft. You might get this welcome Xbox thing. If that's the case, just go ahead and say, let's go. You're good to go. It's fine. So nevertheless, now it logs us right on in. As you can see, we do have Nick's account, which is the gamer tag we set up on the daily videos Minecraft account there. Now you might not land on this page, you'll probably land on a page that looks similar to this or on a page that looks like this. No matter what though, you want to go ahead and click on Minecraft Java Edition on the left hand side and to launch up Minecraft, click the green play button. It will then probably have to do some downloading things as you can see down here, all right, like so. And then finally it will open up Minecraft Java Edition. Now there may be like a white screen or something like that when Minecraft's opening up. That's perfectly normal, especially on first launch. Just let it sit there for a minute and then eventually it will go away, you'll see that Mojang logo, and it will launch right on in here to Minecraft, right like so, where we can click on multiplayer and then join in the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. Obviously, you can play single player and do all that, but why would you go anywhere else but Breakdowncraft? Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Come play with us on Medieval Survival, which is updating literally tomorrow, as I'm recording this video, to 1.17.1, the newest version, and from there, it should stay on the newest version. But uh, yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, come play with us at play.breakdowncraft.com and give it a thumbs up. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.